Okay, so welcome back to the 30 day reset, the 30 day cleanse, detox, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, we are now just over the hump of the, uh, the halfway point, so the, the detox phase. Now the 30 day cleanse, for those who are finding this on YouTube, we are uh, doing interactively over on the Oil This by Jenny Facebook page and uh, it'll be up there so uh, if you're finding this when we're not smack in the middle of it then you can do it anytime just search for uh, 30 day reset and you'll see one through 30 and a bunch of bonuses in between so um, today we're actually talking about cold water therapies or cold shower therapy some people call it hydrotherapy but that word is used for a lot of different things so I just like to stick to cold water therapy and uh, you might be thinking Jenny really we've taken all these supplements, we've exercised our butts off, we've um, you know, brushed our tongue and brushed our skin and we've fasted and now you're gonna make us take cold showers. So, um, not quite. So these are all meant, right, to be getting rid of our old habits and then just getting new habits totally in, in its place. So the cold water therapy is actually something that comes at the very end of your shower. So I like warm showers too. I like really hot showers actually, but this comes at the very end. So they have found that 30 seconds of a cold shower at the very, very end of your shower um, has all these increased physiological uh, or physical and mental health benefits. And uh, this is something that I've heard of for a long, long time. There's a lot of, you know, success people who do this. Um, you know, I, I used to hear about it back when I started looking into Ayurveda and yoga and um, Tony Robbins does it as part of his daily ritual where he'll work out and then I think it's in a sauna or some kind of like hot steam uh, situation and then he plunges it's called the cold water plunge and he kind of goes straight down plunges in this pool and it's about 38 degrees so what we're gonna do at the end of our shower is uh, just turn off the hot water so let me read to you some of the health benefits about this first before you're like uh wait a minute okay so the first one is increased alertness so uh, this means that there's gonna be increased heart rate increased blood pressure elevated respiratory rate increased metabolism and then it also helps to get you kind of motivated for physical activity right now make sure that if you have a heart condition or anything where you're not supposed to get your you know blood pressure elevated or anything like that um, that you make sure you consult your doctor this might not be for you because imagine we're gonna shut off the hot water and you're gonna gonna go <gasps> like this right but I promise you I promise you after a little bit it's gonna feel so rejuvenating I mean I hope that some of the habits that we have instilled in you so far have felt really good to the body and this is just one of those things right we have been conditioned for so long to you know snooze and eat crappy foods and sit in front of the television and not work out and um, people wonder all the time like why can I get motivated like why you know and so this is just one of those things that helps uh, just increased alertness. Now more health benefits are that you have a stronger immune system. They found that people who do this actually call out of work less. So bosses, make this part of your routine for your employees. Uh, boosted mood, right? They've actually found that people are less likely to be in a depressed state uh, when they've done this. Quicker cooling after sports, right? So that relieves the heat. It also reduces inflammation. We've been talking a lot about um, during this whole cleanse and this week about how important it is to reduce the inflammation in our body. That's why we talked about fasting. That's why we do all the supplements, right? Every single day, which is totally eliminating all of that inflammation from the body, which is what causes all of diseases, right? So um, also improves improved physical recovery, right? For people who are healing, but also people who work out a lot and then reduced pain um, because the blood levels constrict. So I don't have too much to show you today in terms of um, what we're using for oils and such, but I did want to mention two things because, because that helps with reduced pain. Uh, it made me think of two things that I also, well, actually I should say three, four, okay. <laughs> things that I also uh, use for reduced pain. So some of you know um, the deep blue, right? The deep blue is a blend and that is for kind of uh, the deep blue rub or the deep blue oil is gonna be for a localized 
pain, okay? So a lot of people who have muscle pulls or um, arthritis pain or anything like that, I usually tell them deep blue, start with that. Um, from there, we might go on to a protocol of the deep blue polyphenol complex, which is something, a pill that you would, excuse me, take internally. And, um, and then turmeric, which we have a double encapsulated turmeric pill. Um, and that really helps to reduce the internal inflammation. So I'm gonna link those up below, the deep blue, the deep blue oil, the deep blue polyphenol and the turmeric, but also the two oils that um, have an um, analgesic kind of uh, property to it is clove, okay? They found that if you put clove on a toothache, for example, you put it right on the gum, just straight on your finger, straight on the gum, it totally has this numbing effect. The other one that I use very often is copaiba. It comes from the copaiba or copaiba tree from uh, the Amazon in Brazil, uh, sustainably sourced. And this is something that has a, a, a lighter analgesic effect than clove does. Clove is pretty, not, like helps you get numb pretty quick uh, in terms of pain. But copaiba is something that I take internally at night to calm my nerves down. I use it kind of like someone would use CBD or I put it on the bottoms of my feet, okay? This is also something that if I have muscle spasms or anything like that, I will use it as part of my massage effort after a workout or if I've had an injury, and I might even put some drops into the deep blue rub, okay? But that's all to say that um, sometimes, like before the shower, I'll put the deep blue on, get in the shower, uh, take my really, really warm shower, and then the last 30 seconds, I'll just turn off that heat and <gasps> have that effect. So here I go guys, uh, wish me luck and please comment below and then over at the Facebook group uh, to let me know how this feels. And I encourage you to try it for more than a few days to see how your body gets used to it. Have fun with the hydro plunge and um, hope you're doing awesome on the cleanse. Let me know. Bye-bye.